Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. It is me, Alana. And it has been a bit since I have filmed a video. But good news is that this school year is ending. That means that I can dedicate more time to reading and hopefully dedicate more time to my channel this summer. Um, I've actually been trying to get back, like I kind of hit like a slow, like it wasn't a slump because I was still reading, but just like a slow vibe. But I finally got it back. So I think that me not working will be very, very helpful. And I'm going to try to dedicate more time and energy to videos and editing and all that kind of stuff. So, with that, I wanted to go over um, what I will be trying to read this summer. I said I wasn't going to do monthly TBRs this summer, um, mostly because I'm kind of going to be all over the place. So, I kind of just want to have a set list I'm going to try to work through and then fit anything else I want to in and just go from there. So, the first book I have on this list is uh, Thank You Next by... Andy J. Christopher. Um, I'm moving in the fall, so I'm trying to read down my TBR, and I'm doing a pretty decent job, but I'm trying to read it down even more, um, so I can just get rid of the books that I mean I didn't like or I thought I would like so much that didn't turn out the way I thought they would, um, and so this is one of them, and I believe this is about a divorce attorney um, who sees her ex-fiance on a reality show, and she goes on this journey of going back and visiting all her exes and figuring out why they dumped her or why they broke up or whatever. And then along the way, I think she takes an ex or one of her friends or an enemy or something along with her and they fall in love. Something like that. So it sounded really intriguing, which is why I bought it. And it looks pretty short, so I thought it would be a fun kind of romance, maybe summer romance vibe. So I'm hoping this is pretty good, but i got to read it to see. So then next I have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I've been seeing a lot of people like Sarah Adams books, so I figured I would give them a try. Um, especially this one, because I think this is her more popular one, I think. Um, I think this is about a girl who has been friend-zoned by her best friend, who's like a big-time NFL up-and-coming player or something like that. And she tries to like change that image of herself or something we're just gonna go with it next i also have um love in the time of serial killers by alicia thompson so this looks like it's gonna be really funny so that's why i really want to check it out i actually don't really know much about this except i think it's about a girl who suspects that her neighbor is a serial killer so i I'm just going to go in kind of blind and hope for the best and hope I enjoy it because I think this could be really hilarious if it's done right. Next I have The Secret, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. So Monet read this and really loved it and so, or I think she liked it and so she said that she thinks it would be something I would like so I went ahead and bought it and I'm actually looking forward to checking it out i'm gonna be honest i don't remember what this is about so i'm just gonna go off of the fact that monet recommended it to me because she kind of rarely recommends books to me but usually when she does tell me that she thinks i would like a book i usually like it for the most part so we're just gonna go off that next i have legends and lattes by travis balder baldry so um again i don't really know what this is about i know this is a cozy fantasy though and i read tj clune's cozy fantasy um, the House of the Cerulean Sea, and I thought it was pretty good, and so I kind of want to dive more into that particular side of the fantasy genre, and I um, know this has been really popular, everybody's really loved it, so I definitely want to check it out and give it a try and kind of just go in with what I have on, on site or whatever without any, like, kind of going blind and just see how I feel about it. So I'm really looking forward to this. The last two books I have on this list I don't have physical copies. Um, I think I just have the audios. So the first one is The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie. Um, I really liked uh, Murder on the Orient Express. It actually, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. And then once I got to the end, I was like, actually, this was really good. And I see why people say she's such a good um, thriller writer, thriller mystery writer. Um, so I want to give another one of her books a chance. And The ABC Murders, I think, is the next popular one. So 
I'm gonna give that a chance. And then the last book I have on this list is Witchlings by I think Claire Ortega. I I think I'm going off my memory, which could totally be wrong. So I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, and this is a middle grade. I don't remember exactly what it's about, but I know it's about a group of like tween witches or something like that. And so um, I've heard a lot of people say this one is really cute as well. And I really liked um, Nevermore and then its sequel. And of course, I want to read the third book in that trilogy as well um, or series. I think it might be a series. Um, but I want to give Witchlings a chance because I want to kind of get more into a middle grade bag a little bit um, and go from there. So these are the books that I'm going to be trying to read this summer. I kind of tried to pick some like fantasy, um, cozy fantasy, fantasy romance, kind of stick with those areas because I wanted um, something fun and light for the summer. But then I also wanted actual romance too for the summer. Um, and then obviously I'll probably fit in whatever else I'm in the mood for in between these. But I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited to be done with my first year of teaching it was definitely a roller coaster of just crazy but I'm glad I did it and I look forward to seeing how next year goes and what I have in store for the future um, and I'm really really hoping I can get back into my channel this summer I feel so bad because I feel like I abandoned it but like the way my brain works is that when I'm doing a lot in one aspect of my life, it's hard for me to focus in other aspects. And I know I need to work on um, having those other, keeping those other aspe aspects of my life um, alive, I guess, for lack of better words, because like balance is key, but like I'm still learning. <laughs> so like... We're still working on it. So yeah. But either way, I'm still reading. So that's the fun part. And I'm still making friends through BookTube. Even if you just don't see it. Which is also a great thing. So we just we just love all that. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are, if you are still watching my stuff and still subscribed. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try and come back and do all the things. Maybe I'll try and start slow with sprints again and go from there. But, um, yeah, so hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are reading some really good books. Let me know what books you're excited to read this summer. Maybe I'll, like, add them to my list. I really have not been keeping up with, like, new releases and stuff, so I really need to. And I just got some, I got some gift cards um, for graduation and stuff, so I may need some recommendations on what to buy next. So definitely let me know down below, please. And, um, yeah. I'm not going to say subscribe or anything because I'm not going to make any promises I can't keep. But I do hope you guys are having a great time, a great year. Um, and I hope life is treating you well. And you guys are still all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <laughs>